on the basis of uh, property which the material is going to exhibit within the magnetic field we can classify the substance once again i will repeat on the basis of property which the material is going to exhibit within the magnetic field or inside a magnetic field on the basis of this we are going to classify the substances into three the number one is a diamagnetic substance diamagnetic substances are those substances which when placed inside a strong magnetic field acquire a fib a feeble magnetization or we can say a very low magnetization opposite to the direction of magnetic field so so these are the substances when they are placed in a strong magnetic field they acquire a feeble magnetization opposite to the direction of applied magnetic field means if this is a substance and it is a placed in a very strong magnetic field and this is going to be the direction of strong external magnetic field and this is the substance diamagnetic substance then inside the b developed or the b induced will be in this direction opposite to the direction of applied magnetic field and this is the reason that if we are going to suspend a ferromagnet sorry a diamagnetic substance within between the two pole pieces so it is inside a strong magnetic field it will not align will become perpendicular perpendicular to field or they move from strong 
strong magnetic field. Okay. Two weak magnetic field. So they always move from strong magnetic field to weak magnetic field. <coughs> there are much of the property based over this. Strong magnetic field to weak magnetic field means if this is going to be a tube which is going to contain some initially a diamagnetic liquid of this level and here we are placing a two pole piece of a magnet then the level of the liquid will come down because from the strong it moves to the weak magnetic field But there is a one more example in which there is a little problem and the problem is that if two pole pieces are placed very near to each other, then strong magnetic field will be at the middle of gap between the two Pole pieces, but if the two pole pieces of magnet is little far from each other then strong magnetic field will be at the poles and little less at middle of gap. This is very important because this is a quite confusing one. The only thing that if I'm going to keep the two pole piece of a magnet like this, north and south then what i said when it is going to be very near to each other at the middle we will get a strongest field but if a two pole piece are going to be like this then in this reason we will get or the strongest magnetic field will be here and at the middle it will be a weak magnetic field. And therefore number of time in the CBSC as well as in a means examination the students are committing a mistake when it is given that we are having a two porcelain disc.
and in this a diamagnetic liquid is filled then what will be the shape of the liquid nothing to explain because diamagnetic is going on so we are discussing diamagnetic only strong it moves from strong magnetic field to weak magnetic field strong is at the middle and weak is at the corner so the shape of the liquid will become like kidney sheet the liquid from the middle will try to move on the other side and this clearly shows that it is going to be repelled by the strong magnetic field this will become the shape without magnetic field if you are going to fill then this will be the shape of the liquid so shape of the liquid is this this turning to this but if you are putting under this condition then the corners are going to have a strong and a weak is at a middle so from here it will turn into so the shape of the liquid will become like this so in one case it is a kidney sheet in another case it will become a modak so these two are the shapes and this clearly indicate that yes it is moving from strong to weak or experiencing a repulsion likewise based on this property there are many things if we are having a ferromagnetic substance like this oh sorry diamagnetic and a magnetic line of forces are like this it is placed in a the uniform magnetic field oh then how the line of forces will go line of force this will be repelled and it will go like this this 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 will go like this and this will go like this and this will go like this finally what we have seen that inside the number become less and there is a, a repulsion between the two because this is fixed cannot go anywhere so it is diverting the magnetic line of force and this diversion of a magnetic line of force clearly indicate that yes there is going to be a repulsion so so number of line of forces passing through a diamagnetic substance will become less <coughs> any problem hello no sir good So here, this bar mag uh, bar magnet is di diamagnetic substance. Sir, this is not the bar magnet. This is only a piece of magnetic substance. I have not used the word bar magnet. This is a solid bar or diamagnetic substance piece. This is a diamagnetic liquid substance. This is a diamagnetic liquid substance. This is also diamagnetic liquid substance, and this is a diamagnetic bar means a solid substance 
of a diamagnetic. These all are not the bar magnet. Is it okay? Yes, sir. These all are the few examples of diamagnetic substance. So the magnetic dipole moment, now how they are going to magnetize, I am going to tell you that this is a diamagnetic substance, in this there are number of atoms and the M of all the atom or the magnetic dipole moment, now the small m will not be the pole strength, it will be a magnetic dipole moment of atom for atom. So each atom will have a zero magnetic dipole moment. Why they are having a magnetic dipole moment? Because in this there is going to be a motion of electron and a motion of electron is going to be of a two type. One is going to be uh, 
orbital motion and another is going to be the spinning motion the spinning motion is going to be very fast if a spinning motion is going to be very fast then we know moving charged particle or moving electron will constitute the current and product of current to the area is known as m m is equal to i into a and m is equal to e into omega 1 by t frequency and this a can be written as pi r square where r is the radius of the orbit in which they are revolving so this is going to be but the thing is that due to spinning m play rules and due to orbital motion can be neglected as very very small so the contribution because of the orbital motion is a negligibly small so we are basically considering because of the spinning the question is that if the magnetic dipole moment of a atom depends upon the spinning of electron inside the atom then how it can be zero quickly and do it fast don't suno only katha it will be in the opposite to the magnetic uh, magnetic field sir what it will be opposite to the magnetic field sir ah uh... Opposite to the magnetic field. अरे यार अभी तो हमने लगाई ही नहीं magnetic field. Right now it is only a piece. I have not applied. I am not going to put it into an external magnetic field. Right now it is going to be placed this magnet. Diamagnetic substance. This diamagnetic substance is placed over my table only, where there is no magnetic field. Is it clear? I have not applied any magnetic field. Right now only I am discussing about a piece of. Diamagnetic substance, and I said that a piece of diamagnetic substance will be made up of so many atoms, and in this, every atom is going to have a zero magnetic dipole moment. For the dipole moment, I said this. This is because of orbital and spinning. When the electron will revolve, whether it is orbital or spinning. m is equal to i into a that can be written as because of the electron e into frequency uh, the frequency frequency of their rotation and area pi r square the radius in which they are going to spin the question is how the atoms magnetic dipole moment will become zero i hope the question clear yes sir yes quickly so because the spin in pairs because of so the spin in pairs in opposite direction correct because in this all are going to spin in like a number of electrons spinning in a clockwise is equal to number of electrons spinning in a anti clockwise so that spinning will give the magnetic dipole moment in one direction and anti clock spinning will give another direction both will be same in a magnitude opposite in direction and therefore the net magnetic dipole moment of the atom becomes zero any problem no sir sir how m is equal to i a comes sir clear ye aaj se padh rahe hai pichle chapter se we are studying the same Yes, sir. So M is equal to I. Correct. Correct. M is equal to I. Ah. So, 
from where it derived you are asking the question no the experimental also you are asking from where we are derived as you have started no problem so simple kind of a thing no in this a moving electron when an electron is going to move around the current carrying conductor there is a magnetic field yes and the magnitude of a current depend upon the spinning when a current carrying conductor why the current carrying conductor is having a magnetic field because of conductor or because of motion of electron so because of motion of electrons it means the motion of electron is going to constitute a magnetic field then the yes. spin then the spinning electron or the revolving uh, electron can also constitute a current yes sir then around this there must be a magnetic field yes sir and if there is a magnetic field definitely there should be a magnetic moment yes sir so so definitely you have there is going to be some parameter no based over that you can you have to define it magnetic field because of the current is not a issue and revolving will constitute the current so magnetic field definitely will be there then what is the problem with the magnetic dipole moment so after magnetic field i am so sorry uh, it is due to current uh, it exerts magnetic field uh -huh. but so how uh, M A M A is equal to magnetic moments. So that is only the. Point. That's why I said no. That uh, right now you are in Chennai. You are not in I E S S C R. Are you there? No sir. So how I can you have explain you? You come to the laboratory. I will have show you how they are going to revolve and how the electric field is going to develop, established, and then I will you have show you the domain theory. I will show that they are going to form a domain, and when the domain is going to be you have slices. then there will be a reason and from that reason this concept will develop how but how i can teach all these yes i means in iit syllabus it is not there please <laughs> whenever i am going to teach you more than you have your level if you want any kind of explanation that also i can do that why the concept of magnetic dipole moment came here up to that level you have i had explained to you why it will be only i into a there are number n number of theories regarding that the earth magnetism is because of that only yes sir uh, if it is not there so why to waste time jc is 100% if a earth start re stop revolving the earth magnetism will also stop yes sir yes sir so uh, finally we come to conclude that this is the uh, what that each substance is going to have a zero magnetic dipole moment when the substances will have a zero magnetic dipole moment um just a minute
Okay, so now we'll come to that. Then the net magnetic dipole moment of substance of so the net magnetic dipole moment of the substance is also going to be zero. And therefore, in a normal condition, if you are going to take a piece of diamagnetic substance, it will not behave like a magnet. Now, when we are going to place in a strong magnetic field, be external and strong. Now, in this strong magnetic field, all the atoms start acquiring a magnetic dipole moment. A very small magnetic dipole moment is going to be acquired by all the subs atom. The question is, why? So, the small m is also not zero, therefore capital M is also not zero. But, Is how the atom now inside a strong magnetic field acquire a feeble magnetization or how now its uh, atom's magnetic dipole moment going to change quickly. Previously it was zero, both were cancelling each other. Now how they are going to have some definite value? Hurry up. Due to the property of strong to weak, sir. Due to property of strong to weak, it uh, mm -hmm. a spinning motion. It means it is a moving charge. Now the moving charge inside a strong magnetic field. Moving charge inside a strong magnetic field will experience a magnetic force. Whether the charge is whether the charge is in uh, both kind of spinning are experiencing the same direction of magnetic field. But the direction of their motion are different. If the direction of their motion are different, then definitely they will experience a force or opposite. Then they will experience a force also in an opposite direction. This opposite direction force, which is going to be experienced by both, in one, it will be in the favor of a spin. In other, it will be in the oppose of the spin. B is same for both the charge. One is moving in this direction. One is moving in this direction. 
and the B is going to be same. So one will experience the F in the same direction because for both the F will be like this. So it is going to favor one and oppose the other. And because of this, the spinning velocity of one is going to be different than other. There will be some change. Then the net change is going to be two delta V. If change in a spin in one is going to be delta V, so one will be plus delta V, another one will be minus delta V. So delta V net will become two delta V. And this is going to give a net magnetic dipole moment because now the magnetic dipole moment of a one kind of a spin will decrease by some amount, the other will increase by the same amount and difference will be twice of any difference. And that's why both are not going to cancel each other. If you will you ever go deeply in a mechanism, then you ever you will realize that the dipole moment because of the NT is going to increase. Therefore, net magnetic dipole moment, which is going to have the difference twice of the any one, develop opposite to the direction of applied magnetic field. Always it is going to be induced. So thing induced always try to oppose. So in this case, it is going to be opposed like this. So induces are going to always oppose and therefore we are getting a magnetization opposite to the direction of applied magnetic field. This was the total diamagnetic substance. After this, the second one is paramagnetic. In a strong magnetic field gets weak magnetization but in the in the direction of applied magnetic field. So the difference is both has to place in a strong magnetic field. The previous one acquired a magnetization, a weak magnetization opposite to the direction of applied magnetic field and this will be same in the direction of applied magnetic field. The reason is that This is a paramagnetic substance. And all the atoms of a paramagnetic substance are having net magnetic dipole moment. In a previous case, we have seen they are not having the net here. All are having a net magnetic dipole moment. But they are arranged within the substance in a random manner in such a way that a substance is going to have a zero magnetic dipole moment. Just like a Brownian motion, every individual particle is going to have a motion, but the net motion is going to be zero because sum of all is going to be zero. The same is here. Every It means in this case, the number of uh, electron spinning in a clockwise will not be equal to the number of atoms spinning in an anti-clockwise. So the numbers are not same, therefore every substance is going to have a net magnetic dipole moment, but all the atoms are randomly arranged within the substance. All the atoms are randomly arranged within the substance. So all the magnetic dipole moment will also randomly arranged 
in such a way that net over the substance becomes zero. Any problem? No, sir. Now, when it is going to be placed in a strong magnetic field, what will be? Quickly. <coughs> Hello. Any idea? Sir, they will arrange them in the opposite uh, magnetic field, sir. They will arrange them in the opposite magnetic field. Why? To, sir, to get it minimum, so the spin can be non Uh, uh, the problem is only that uh, now all the atoms which are having a net magnetic dipole moment, it means all the atom is behaving like a dipole. Agree? Yes. So all the atom will behave like a dipole. It means it is a dipole placed inside a strong magnetic field. When a magnetic dipole is placed inside a strong magnetic field, what happens? a torque which always try to align itself in the direction of applied magnetic field. Kabhi padha tha? Yes. When a dipole is placed inside a strong field, it experiences a torque which try to rotate it in such a way that it become aligned with the direction of applied field. It always try. Try means it's not necessary that it is going to be succeeded. For this atom, we can get, because it is going to have a very small deflection from the external magnetic field. So this atom, which was having initially this, will completely have the align in this direction. This one will also have a complete align. This will not, because this was having a very large deflection. So it will try, it will become like this. This will, yes, this will definitely align. This, this may not align that much, but will come to this range. This, this may not, but this may come in this direction. This, this also, we can say the same. Now, finally, what we have seen, all are trying to align itself in the direction of external field. And therefore, the thing which was arranged randomly, now they will start, substance will start acquiring a net magnetic dipole moment in the direction of field. Any problem? Hello. And therefore, it acquires a weak magnetization but in the direction of applied magnetic field. 
if it is so then if such kind of a substance are going to be placed between the two pole piece of a magnet freely suspended then the bar will align itself in the direction of applied magnetic in the case of the ferromagnetic we have seen that this become perpendicular if we are having a substance like this and it is placed inside a uniform magnetic field the line of force will love to pass through it because having attraction in another case there was a diversion in this case there will not be a diversion the line of force which try to move away from it will also try to enter in the into a substance and then the concentration of a line of force within the substance will increase so in this case we are having a attraction there it was a repulsion here it is going to be attraction a porcelain this kind of a things when they are quite near to each other so definitely that was moving away from the strong field this will move towards the strong magnetic field strong magnetic field is here so if you are putting a porcelain and putting a paramagnetic substance in this it will acquire like this because here the strong magnetic field is there so all the liquid from the weak is moving towards the strong if you are going to take the shape like this now strong is here and weak is here so from this it will rise towards the corner because now here the field is strong any problem hello no sir no sir now there is a one more thing and that is known as the ferromagnetic substance now ferromagnetic substance it is very similar to the paramagnetic substance but its extension is very large when placed even in weak 
external magnetic field gets strong magnetization in the direction of applied magnetic field so this is going to be a super boss of a paramagnetic substance because in this strong external magnetic field is not required even we are going to place it in a weak magnetic field it acquire a strong magnetization and that too in the direction of applied magnetic field and this ferromagnetic substance all the magnets are made up of this ferromagnetic substances iron nickel cobalt they are alloys these all are the ferromagnetic substances and this is a rocket science which the students used to exhibit in a lower class they are taking a paper pin and keeping in contact with a magnet for some time it means a ferromagnetic substance is in a placed in a magnetic field will acquire a strong magnetization and therefore they are putting a paper pin in contact with a magnet they placed it over a magnet and after some time or the next day they used to go to the school and showing the other student that one paper pin can easily attract the other then the other and then they are going to make one after the other a big line and become the newton of the class this is the theory that even a weak external magnetic field can give a strong magnetization to the ferromagnetic substances in a ferromagnetic substances the theory is completely different what we had already discussed and in this the domain theory comes what is this this is the reason within this is the reason within the ferromagnetic substance in which all the atoms has their magnetic dipole moment in the same direction but within ferromagnetic substance d d means domain they are arranged in random so the net m of substance becomes zero so in this we are considering that this is a ferromagnetic substance 
and within the ferromagnetic substance we are having a domain i'm going to draw a simplest one it does not means the size of the domain should be equal or there is going to be only a four domain there may be number of domain in this the size may be different but for the ease i'm going to take like this in this all the atoms are having their magnetic dipole moment in one direction this is one domain this is another domain all are having in one direction this is another domain all are having in one direction this is another one all are having in one direction so you can see that the net net magnetic dipole moment of this region is this 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 in such a way that m is equal to 0 they are arranged in a random manner in such a way that it becomes zero any problem no sir no. oh yes sir in a in a diamagnetic substance electron in the shell and substance are filled completely or if not completely yes completely so that the number of spinning and clockwise and anti clock are going to be same in a paramagnetic substance their outer shells are not completely filled and therefore each sub atom is going to have their magnetic dipole moment in a ferromagnetic substance not only the outer subshell but the inner one is also not completely filled with the aqua principle and therefore they are having little stronger difference and a stronger magnetic dipole moment of the atom and such a atom are going to unite and arrange themselves in the form of the domain so that all the atoms which are having a their magnetic dipole moment in the same direction combined together or come together and form a region and that is known as the domain and this is known as the domain theory for a ferromagnetic substance now there are going to be two things regarding this one is known as the orientation of domain and another is known as the enlargement of domain orientation of domain in the orientation of a domain means this is b external we applied in this direction <clears throat> so there is a no torque over this because here the dipole is already aligned in the direction of external magnetic field when a dipole is in the direction of external field will there be any torque acting over that hello no sir no because angle theta is zero so sin theta is zero orientation means this is having in this direction they will experience and instead of in upward direction they become like this orientation from this position to this position net dipole moment of this region become this this was completely opposite this turn into this this was completely down this came in this direction and now all are in such a way that their net is going to in the direction of applied magnetic field so now m capital m is not zero 
and in direction of external field any problem hello no sir so finally we have seen that in this case this is known as the orientation and it will be like this enlargement of domain enlargement of domain size of the domain is going to increase this is a b external in this direction this was a ferromagnetic substance in this this was the favored domain the size of this favored domain increases now this is having a i mean this direction this is having in this direction this is having in this direction and this is having in this direction they two are going to cancel this is very small this is very large so here the m will not be zero and in the direction any problem so on the basis of a domain theory the magnetization of a ferromagnetic substance is governed by this which is totally depend upon the external magnetic field when it is going to be a uh, little less then there will be a uh, orientation of a domain if it is going to be large then there will be enlargement of the domain but by both the method we are acquiring a magnetization in the case of ferromagnetic substances any problem hello yes sir after that sir ka ek hi principle hai ki kisi tar jis direction mein external field hai uski direction mein mera dipole ho jaye aur uss doubt cord kam ho jayega to potential energy kam ho jayega hmm not getting the point once again you say what you said सभी का एक ही प्रिंसिपल है कि एक्सटर्नल फील्ड के डायरेक्शन में हमारा डायपोल जाए जिससे कॉट कम रहेगा और उसके कारण सर एनर्जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी कम रहेगा हंड्रेड परसेंट बिकॉज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मैग्नेटाइज एनी सब्सटेंस इट मीन्स मैग्नेटाइजेशन ऑफ एनी सब्सटेंस मीन्स नाउ द एटम शुड है मैग्नेटिक डायपोल मोमेंट एंड इफ द नेट मैग्नेटिक डायपोल मोमेंट ऑफ द सब्सटेंस comes in any of the direction then the substance will acquire the magnetization the question is when the atom itself behave like a dipole and will have a magnetic dipole moment and you are applying external magnetic field then there is only one principle any kind of a dipole placed in a external field try to align itself in the direction so the resultant magnetic field or the resultant dipole moment will come in the direction of applied one only and therefore depending upon the orientation like in a paramagnetic substance it is little 
by applying a very hard magnetic field. So they acquire a small magnetization, but in the direction of field. In a pharaoh, because it is a domain, to change a single person or to change a group, if you are going to change a group, then suddenly you are getting a very larger value in your favor. And therefore, even in a weak magnetic field, the ferromagnetic substance is giving a large magnetization. Any problem? No, sir. Good. Ah, chapter. Bada, bada, ke thang ya, ke. Now, there are some oh, physical phenomena or the parameters. And every time you have to see the units because the unit will give you a better understanding. In this, the very first one is intensity of Magnetizing field. This field will be a very hard Intensity of magnetizing field is denoted by H. What is the magnetizing field? That external field. The field which magnetizes the substance is known as magnetizing field. So the external field will be magnetizing field. They said intensity of magnetizing field. It is the ratio of magnetizing field it is the ratio of magnetizing field, which is B to the B to the permeability of free space. So it is a ratio of magnetizing field to the permeability of the free space H is equal to B by mu naught. Because in this chapter all the numericals will be based over these things only. And the unit of H is going to be ampere meter. Oh. And of course, it is a vector quantity because this is a vector, so this will also be a vector quantity. Another thing is intensity of Intensity of magnetization. That was a magnetizing intensity. This is an intensity of magnetization. The intensity by which the substance become magnetized. When When a 
magnetic material is magnetized the magnetic moment developed per unit volume so magnetic moment developed per unit volume is known as intensity of intensity of magnetization so intensity of magnetization is confined to the substance to which we are going to magnetize <clears throat> i will be magnetic moment per unit volume and uh this is one another is also what is i m what is m pole strength into length of the magnet divided by area into length will become m by a m magnetic dipole moment v magnetic dipole moment and v is the volume m pole strength and a is the area so this can be written like this also so area of the substance area of the 100% area of the substance now in the previous case we have seen that that was an ampere into meter and this is also ampere into meter unit ampere per meter so two things intensity of magnetizing field and intensity of magnetization another one is magnetic magnetic susceptibility denoted by chi magnetic susceptibility it is defined as the ratio of intensity of intensity of magnetization i to to the intensity of
to the intensity of magnetizing field H. So chi is a ratio of intensity of magnetization to the intensity of magnetizing field. Chi is equal to I by H. What will be the ratio? Quickly. What will be the ratio? Hey, sorry. I mean, what will be the unit? It will be unitless. Sir. Unitless. Correct. Correct. It is going to be a unitless. So the magnetic susceptibility, if we are going to talk about the paramagnetic, oh, sorry, diamagnetic. Negative and small. Why negative? Because developed in an opposite direction. Why small? Because I is less and H is very high. It acquire a very less magnetization when a strong is going to apply it. What will be para? Quickly. What will Positive and small. What will be for ferro? Positive, Positive and large. large. Correct. Positive and large. Remember, this is also less than 1, this is also less than 1, but negative and this is more than 1. Because here this value is large in comparison, even in a week, this becomes very large. After the magnetic susceptibility will come to, and this is an obvious kind of a point, Permeability. This is not the permeability of the free space. This is the permeability in the case of the substance. The ratio of the ratio of magnitude of total total field the ratio of magnitude of total field inside the material to that of to that of intensity of to the intensity of magnetizing field is called permeability. So the permeability me B is magnitude of the total magnetic field inside the substance to the H. So mu is equal to B by H.
and unit is Henry per meter. So this is going to be Henry per meter and we can derive it like this. If it is so, then we can write B is equal to, I'm taking mu naught. If it will be mu naught, then it should be H plus I. Or B is equal to mu naught, take H common, it will become one plus I by H. So B is equal to mu naught H, this become one plus chi. I by H is equal to chi. And what is going to be mu? This is one thing. And B is equal to mu H. <coughs> B is equal to mu H. And it, it means, oh sorry, mu H, not mu not H. It means mu is equal to mu naught one plus chi. <clears throat> In the term of a relative permeability, we used to say that mu is equal to mu naught mu r. And its employees that mu r or the relative permeability is what? 1 plus chi. These all are the various formula. 1 is this, 1 is this, 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 this. All the questions are completely formula based. Put the value and get the answer kind of a things. Any problem? Hello. The related problem comes that uh, A magnetizing field of one six double zero ampere per meter produces a magnetic flux of two point four into ten to the power minus 5 Weber in a bar of iron of cross section 0 0.2 centimeter square Calculate the permeability and permeability and susceptibility of bar. So we have to find out permeability and susceptibility of the bar. We know very well that phi is equal to B into A. So 
so magnetizing field of this much produce a magnetic flux of this much so we have to get a value of b phi by a what was the phi 2.4 into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by the area 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 because it is a centimeter square and i have to convert it to meter square it will be 1.2 weber per meter square this is going to be the value of b once we get a value of b then it will become easy for us because what is the number one number one i have to get a value of mu mu is equal to b by h b i had calculated 1 by 2 h was given 1600 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla meter per ampere will come and a number 2 mu is equal to mu not 1 plus chi so what will be chi chi will become this is mu will come on this side mu minus mu not by mu so the chi is equal to mu by mu not minus 1 you can put a value in this chi is equal to 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and minus 1 by solving you will get the answer for this so you have seen that in this <coughs> the formula is must if you know the formula and you can calculate one with the other parameter that is going to be the total difficulty in this kind of a problem and they can you have put in in this kind of a paper of the examination any problem quickly any problem hello no sir no sir okay 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 fine thank you Can see one more, and an iron bar of length 
dan saya ingin and and diameter two centimeter. is placed magnetic field of intensity 1000 ampere meter with length parallel to field Point find the magnetic moment produced in the bar of in the bar if. permeability of its material is 6.3 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla meter per ampere so in this they are given that the length is going to be this much. So this is L. And this is the value of H which is given. And this is the value of mu which is given. So here we'll apply our last relation that mu is equal to mu naught one plus chi. <clears throat> now we're waiting room chat for them. Find the magnetic moment produced. So I have to calculate here the magnetic moment. Okay, for the magnetic moment, this time it will be a little lengthier. Because for the magnetic moment, first of all, I have to calculate the chi. And this was mu by mu naught minus 1. So mu 6.3 into 10 to the power minus 4 already given. Mu naught will be 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 minus 1. We have to get a value of chi from here. 500.6 will come. After that, we know that chi is equal to i by h. And from this, we will get a value of i. The chi calculated 500.6 into h. That was 1000. So this becomes 5 into 10 to the power 5.
once we get a value of i, now it becomes simple for us because what is m? m is equal to i into v. So from here, when we have to calculate the value of m, it is going to be i into v. V is already in our hand. <coughs> the main first was to get a value of i. For that, they have given so many mu. It is not directly appearing. But all the mu is given, we can calculate chi. Once we reach to the chi, h is also given, we can get a i. Once i is here, <coughs> everything will become simple. Because i is 5 into 10 to the power 5 into pi. And then they have given what? Um, the diameter. Correct. The diameter was given. So diameter means, uh, diameter is how much? 2 centimeter. So radius will become 1 centimeter. So 1 centimeter means 10 to the power minus 4. And you can calculate, you will have to get the answer for this. No, this is the area, no? Length is also given 10 centimeter. I into A into L. L is also 0 0.1. So we'll get 5 pi ampere per meter square. Any problem? Hello? No, sir. No, so. So one part of the classical is over. Bapre. Rock the jab, sir. Now we have earth magnetic field and that is the last or as the last career is there. Career there? Three to five के बीच में आपकी कौन सी क्लास होती कोई होती है? Maths. कब से कब तक होती है? Maths so three to five. Three to five maths. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many hours you are having the classes? दिन भर. ये five घंटे से English रहता है सर. Eight hours. English class we read that. And tomorrow is a holiday? I think so, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, 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 sir, Chetanya, sir, the group is not here. Hmm. What I am thinking, even if it is a holiday, I have to take a class for me. Hey. Sir, the universal class we read that, sir. Yes. Agriculture, agriculture, you are protected. Hello. Please, I'll leave this. If it will be holiday, if it is not holiday, then it is all right. Yes, sir. If it is not holiday, then it is already my class. The only thing is, if there is going to be a holiday, then I'm thinking to take one class of a two hour. If I will take. Two hour or one hour. Yes, sir. Hmm? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, the two hours the same hour, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Ah. Because in many days you will get a rest for the physics, no problem. I'm never going to take anything extra. <clears throat> and in those days you enjoy the complete two period, but only invest for the physics. Okay, 
So now we'll come to the element of Earth's magnetic field. Sir, English screenshot हुआ है ना नहीं sir? Sir, network issue है sir, एक भी नहीं ले पाए. Which one? Screenshot एक भी नहीं. Screenshot हो गया. सर लोग लेंगे भी तो सर अच्छा टाइम लीजिएगा सर कौन से अपने टाइम लेते हैं जिस टाइम पे है ओके सर बट बोरिंग टाइम मत लीजिएगा सर नो नाइन ओ क्लॉक लेंगे नाइन टू इलेवन अब नाइन से ज्यादा मत सो तब हो जाए नहीं नहीं इनको इंफॉर्मेशन कर दीजिएगा सर हाँ डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली फाइव विल टेक द क्लास Uh, the message will go. Message will go to the group as well as in our personal group. Both. element of earth's magnetic field we all know that the earth behaves like a magnet and
the murder castle. Murder castle. There are three components of Earth's magnetic field. Number one is magnetic declination. Number two. magnetic inclination or dip angle And number three is horizontal component of fourth magnetic field. Our earth is like this. This is north, this is south, and this is known as geographic. North, this is geographic south. <clears throat> and this is known as geographic axis. And a great circle or a vertical line or a great vertical plane passing through geographic axis is known as geographic meridian. Great circle means it's a, like a sphere. If you are going to cut, you will get a great circle like this. So this is going to have, and this is a geographic axis. And this is known as geographic meridian. So this is known as the geographic meridian. Similarly, this is known as magnetic axis. And geographic axis and magnetic axis are not going to coincide with each other. This is known as magnetic south and this is known as magnetic north. And this is known as the magnetic axis. Now the great plane passing through this So this is magnetic meridian. Um. <clears throat> 
so these all are the definition the line passing through geographic south to the geographic north is known as the geographic axis the great vertical plane which passes through the geographic axis is known as geographic meridian and similarly the line which is going to pass through magnetic north to the magnetic south is known as magnetic axis and the great plane perpendicular to this axis will be magnetic meridian now the geographic meridian and magnetic meridian can be understood by opening your book in this form So you are going to open the book like this. This is geographic meridian and this is magnetic meridian. And the angle between these two is phi. And this phi is known as magnetic declination. So the angle between geographic meridian and magnetic meridian at any point is known as magnetic declination. And in this we are having a, this is a magnetic meridian, so in this we are having a earth magnetic field. Let this is be earth magnetic field. So this earth magnetic field is making certain angle with the horizontal. This is a horizontal and this is vertical. This is del. And this is known as magnetic inclination or dip angle. Dip angle or angle of dip is this. With angle of dip, we can resolve this BE into two component. This is a BH and this will be BV. So here the BH will be nothing but BE cos del and BV is BE sin del. From the figure it is very clear. This is horizontal component of This is the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field. If we are squaring and adding, we will get BH square plus BV square is equal to B square. Or we can say BE is equal to under root BH square plus BV square. Squaring and adding by dividing 
if we are going to divide, we'll get BV by BH is equal to tan del. Del is a dip angle. And tan del is equal to BV by BH. Del is true dip angle. In in magnetic meridian. When we are measuring the angle in a magnetic meridian, then it is termed as uh, what true dip angle. Any problem? No, sir. Now the important part of this is oh yeah. Chal, 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 chal. Okay, आज के लिए बहुत हो गया। छोड़ दीजिए आप सर। Okay, okay sir। So what is there is uh, H here sir? B H and B H so H. Horizontal and vertical component here. I will show you the figure. I said no. This okay. is a this is a magnetic meridian. This is a horizontal. This is a vertical. This is B E. The angle which the resultant magnetic field makes with the horizontal. is known as dip angle angle which the resultant earth magnetic field makes with the horizontal is a dip angle so these two are the component horizontal component of earth magnetic field vertical component of earth magnetic field therefore horizontal will be cos component of be cos component of be vertical will be sin component of be sin component of be any problem no sir so we'll go with the screenshot of this page quickly over quickly yes. quickly of this page over i and i is teacher thank you screenshot jarun thank you sir thank you sir